as far as I'm concerned, your family. Thanks, John. That means a lot to me. Well, Charlie is, is still asleep. Maggie's been so wonderful with her, hasn't she? Okay, it's late, you two. Get out of here. Oh, uh, no. Honey, we can stay, can't we, John? Sure, sure. I'm fine. Really. I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Oh, thank you call so me if you need anything. Who else, else would I call? Okay. Oh, wow. Look at the sky. It's so bright. Frankie used to say that we each get our very own star so that we can go there between lives. There's one for each person who's ever existed. That's why there are so many up there, you know. Frankie. She believed that we've all been here before and we'll all be here again on and on until we get it right. According to Frankie, she and I had a number of unresolved issues we still had to work out. She felt that we'd be spending several more lifetimes together. Still up? I thought you'd be sleeping. <coughs> so what? You called to wake me up? We said call any time. Oh, uh, well. When? 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 Since when do you listen to to what I have to say? Maybe I'm finally getting smart. Everything okay? I mean, because if it's not, I can drive over there. No, no, it's okay. I, I was just sitting here, I guess, thinking about Frankie and I. Wanted to hear a familiar voice. So say something. <laughs> How about those cubs? I love you, McKenna. Um, you took out of there pretty fast. What, uh, did you have a hot date or something? Yeah. That tail on Newman, it's not gonna work tonight, sir. Why not? You know where he works, you know where he lives, what's the problem? He was working, but we got there too late, sir. In fact, Newman's gone and we just, we know where he is. Points of departure from Bay City. Yeah, bus, train station, and the airport. Listen, if Fax Newman is spotted, he's to be detained for questioning. That's right. And listen, Sergeant, one more thing. The suspect is to be considered armed and dangerous. If this guy is our killer, we have to stop him right now. Yeah, come in. Captain, I'm leaving now. I'm going to the Korea State to attend Frankie's memorial service. Will you please give Cass my condolences? I wish that I could tell him that we've apprehended Fax. So do I. This might not be of much help, but I am very confident that Newman hasn't left Bay City yet. Yeah, but Captain, even if we do get facts, we need proof to book him for these murders, and so far we don't have that. That's true. But thanks to Frankie, we will have. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Doctor! 
Dr. Winthrop. What the hell are you doing in my office? like family. You ready to go? Yeah. Are you sure you're up to this? Yeah. I promised Paulina that if she stayed home and helped Dante recover from his cold, that I would, that I wouldn't leave you alone. So if I'm not going to be alone, Frankie, I have a lot of friends. And you know Nick and Maggie are going to be there. I don't care. Joe, I have to be there. Not only for Frankie, but for you. Sophia. Joe, I mean it. I don't want anyone keeping me away. No one's going to keep me away. I mean, this is a time for remembering Frankie and, and for us to be together and to be grateful that we still have each other. Charlie, are you ready? of this. How dare you go through my personnel file? Yeah, I had an emergency that I had to answer to, and I didn't have time to ask. Really? And what were you doing with Fax Newman's file? I know he's not on your A-list. Well, I didn't think that it was beyond my bounds to check Excuse me? Invading my private office and snooping through my records is not part of your job description. You'll have to do a lot better than that, Doctor. And if I find that this intrusion has some malicious motive... Oh, no, it does you... not. I promise you that. Good. I'm still waiting for that explanation. I'm happy to give it to you. Although, I'm in a rush. I have to get to my sister-in-law's memorial. No, service. what were you doing here? I find this a very serious matter. Uh, what? Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt, Doc, but we got kind of an emergency, an electrical emergency. Uh, can't this wait, Mr. Reno? Sure. If you don't want the lights on at the opening tonight. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Now you're perfect. That's what Mommy used to say. I remember. This was a very favorite dress. I know, sweetheart. I know. Today we're, uh... Today we're remembering Mommy. But we'll never forget her, will we? Thank mm -hmm. you. 